Hi there, Holly Duckworth here, Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique Practitioner Level 3. And I wanted to talk to everybody a little bit today about the concept of karma. I have so many QHHT clients that come in asking to have karma cleared, karma repaired, to understand their karma. And what I've found is that there's actually a lot of um, misconstrued information, it seems about what karma even is. So I'd like to clarify that a little bit today, what I found out from the higher self through QHHT sessions. And also hearkening back to Dolores herself, who taught us many, 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 many years ago how to clear any karma at any time. So let's talk about this. So first of all, what I find is huge amounts of misunderstanding about what karma is. And I think this has to do with just pop culture and the popular use of the term karma. I think about all of those internet memes about instant karma, where somebody does something wrong or something uh, maybe unethical, and then like they're captured on video, um, having some sort of immediate um, injury or accident or, real, or situation that um, throws it right back at them this kind of tit for tat, this um, instant retribution for maybe not behaving particularly well. Yeah, that's not karma. <laughs> and we call it instant karma. That's not what really karma is. And so let's talk about what it is. We come into incarnations, this one and others, with the purpose of learning and experiencing with other souls who are also incarnated, or perhaps even situations, or perhaps even other things. Um, and so before we've, we've come into this incarnation, we've set up a plan, a purpose, a lesson for ourselves to have some sort of experience. And so all of these preparations, all of these plans, create entanglements, create connections, create inextricable links, and even contracts. It could be with other people, it could be with situations, it could be with beliefs or concepts, it could even be with things, okay? And we very intentionally set up these learning opportunities for ourselves with this, these entanglements and these contracts. And then we get into the incarnation and we start working with the lessons and maybe we're overwhelmed and we're like, whew, okay, this is a lot harder uh, now that I'm here and it's not working, okay? And so these entanglements, these setups that we give ourselves, um, that's the karma. The contract is the karma, okay? It's not judgment, it's not tit for tat, it's not retribution, okay? It's actually learning experiences. It's like actually learning opportunities. That's what karma is. We can release them. We can release them at any time, but we also need to understand that the ramification of that is that we won't learn what we wanted to learn. We won't, we won't fulfill whatever purpose it was that we had in this incarnation um, that we wanted to fulfill in terms of soul growth. But you can release the karma at any time. And Dolores told us exactly how to do this many, many decades ago. She told us how to do this. You don't need a QHHT session to release your karma. You can go do it right now. You can, after this video, you can instantaneously go forgive and release any karma that you might be holding in this life. And what Dolores taught us to do is just set the intention with whatever person, situation, belief, thing that we might be entangled with, is to just say, you know what? We tried, we really, really tried, and it's not working. And so I just release this contract. I'm tearing up this contract. I'm breaking this contract. I'm finishing this lesson right here, right now. Boom, done setting that strong intention. So as an example, maybe you have karma, this learning opportunity with, let's say a belief, let's say financial abundance, 
Let's say that you set up for yourself the struggle for financial abundance in this incarnation as a learning exercise. Maybe you've had other lives and other situations where you, you were fabulously materially wealthy. And this time you wanted to understand what it was like to really struggle to have that situation. And so you have this karma, this contract with the belief of financial abundance. And so you tried that, it's not working for you, and you wanna change that in the middle of the arc incarnation. Fantastic, you can do that. And you just say, I'm tearing up the contract with this belief. I'm finishing the karma with this belief of lack. This belief that I can't have financial abundance, that financial abundance is a struggle. And with pure intention, with your head and heart aligned, setting that intention to tear up that contract, to finish that lesson, to change this incarnation so that that karma is released. Then it's as easy as that. So just a little bit about what I've learned about karma. It's not retribution. It's not judgment. It's just a choice that we made before this incarnation for a certain learning opportunity, a contract, an entanglement, that we very intentionally gave ourselves to have some sort of specific experience for some purpose and for some lesson in this incarnation. You can quit it at any time. And it's as simple as setting the intention to break the contract, recognizing that there are ramifications for that, that the lesson that you came in here to learn with respect to that particular entanglement isn't going to be learned. And that's okay. Again, no judgment. And it's as easy as that. Thank you for listening.